Good morning, welcome to today's video. Today is Sunday, it's actually uh, Easter Sunday, so I feel like this is probably appropriate to put a little, little bunny headband on. I almost did not film this video today, and then I thought to myself, you know what, I, I was getting, I've been getting some hate comments about my appearance recently. Well, it's not recently, this is all the time since being on social media, but recently it's been extra like, People have been saying that I've been looking botched or like someone yesterday told me I need to get a nose job. And like, this is the thing about social media. Like I know that I technically signed up for this. I understand that this is like what comes with it. But can I just say, okay? And I talked a little bit about this on my Instagram the other day. I have never in my entire life ripped apart my appearance and hated the way that I looked more so than I have in the last few years being on social media and getting these comments. And it, I was supposed to film yesterday and I was so just like down about myself. Like I was like, oh my God, like luckily, luckily I don't hate my nose and I don't feel like I need a nose job. But if I did and that person commented that, like I probably would have scheduled a consultation for a nose job. I, just, just a quick little side right here. I feel like it's normal for people to have to see those types of things about themselves on a day-to-day -day basis and I saw this creator who made a really good point about like positive comments to negative hate comments and how even though the percentage of hate comments is smaller the more followers that you have the more that percentage like equals more followers right because like one percent of a hundred people not so much one percent of a hundred thousand people thousand people. Either way, it's a larger amount of people that you're seeing com constantly commenting on your appearance and things like that on a day-to-day -day basis. Like, just imagine like in a normal world, right? Imagine if every single day you woke up and you went somewhere and one person, just one person every day, came up to you and they were like, your face looks like shit. Or like, your Botox looks like shit. Or you need a no shop. Like, imagine if you experience that on a day-to-day -day basis i feel like any normal person would start to think like maybe i do need botox maybe i do need a nose job do you get what i'm saying <sighs> i digress went on a freaking rampage yesterday and i was just like so over it i didn't want to film then i was like you know what no because today is sunday today's my favorite day of the week this is where i do all of my self-care things starting with my everything shower i did post that on my tiktok by the way i did like an everything shower routine so i just got out of my everything shower my hair is still wet i'm gonna let it air dry for a little bit while i dermaplane and this is always the first step in my self-care routine now i'm gonna give you a little preface on this if you're not familiar with dermaplaning and you've never done it before please do not use the stainless steel surgical blades for the love of god you will slice your face off trust me i've done it get the little plastic ones from ulta just to get yourself used to them it's way safer but don't freak out when you see me using these okay so i'm using a 10r surgical steel blade this is what they use at the med spa and i'm going to uh, start with my fresh face. Obviously, I just, like I said, showered, washed my face, everything is good to go, and I'm going to get all of the dead skin and the peach fuzz off while my hair is kind of air drying a little bit because I don't like to blow dry it immediately when I get out of the shower. I just like to let it kind of get a little bit less sopping wet. deep exfoliation because I honestly I stopped exfoliating my face daily I feel like I may have been over exfoliating my skin so I've decided to just do like one deep exfoliation once a week and doing the dermaplaning kind of like takes off that first layer so then you can go in with a really deep exfoliator I'm going to use the Paula's Choice 25 AHA 2% BHA exfoliating peel and once I'm done with that I'm going to go in with the Tula H2 Oasis SOS mask because 
we're like stripping the skin right now, right? Like I just exfoliated, I shaped it, we're putting more exfoliating on top. I know some people are probably like, that's too much, but anytime I go to get it done, like professionally, that's what we do. My skin can handle it as long as I have something super moisturizing that stays on afterwards. So the BHA peel first, we're gonna leave that on for five minutes and then put on the Tula H2O Oasis, H2O Oasis, and this one stays on. So once you let it soak into your skin, you just kind of rub the excess in and I just trust me on this. Okay, so while the first one is sitting, I'm gonna use these Bay Brow little eyebrow dyeing things. I used to use the Just For Men, and you can totally do that too, but when I just wanna do it really quickly, I'm mixing the dark brown and graphite together to kind of just like slightly tint my brow hairs. It's just, it looks like a little uh, concealer applicator, like a little doe foot, and you just kind of like, just lightly put it in your brows and leave it on for five minutes, and then once I wash this mask off, then I'm gonna wash that off as well. rinsed it off look at this like it just is so tight and lovely just like yes nice and clean snatched if you will and then we're gonna put on this tula sos i freaking love this mask i'm obsessed with this So we're gonna go ahead and do the blow dry routine, which I'm gonna be honest, it takes forever. Like having three rows of extensions is really not my best move because this shit takes like a full hour to dry. So that's why I let it air dry for as long as I possibly can before it starts to get too frizzy. And we're gonna leave this tulip mask on and then as it starts to get more dry, we're just gonna rub it in. It only has to stay on your face for like five minutes before you rub it in. So let's go ahead and blow dry this hair. need a break. I'm gonna spray with some heat protectant and we're just gonna curl it on up. I am using the Kristen S one inch little barrel curler. Oof. Brush all that through. between the fun nails or the plain nails. I did the fun nails last time, so I'm thinking I might go with a little bit of a plain, a plain moment today. I talked about these in my previous favorites video, and I do think that they hold on the longest, if, as long as you're using the right glue. I'm using this uh, Beauty Secrets glue from Amazon. So while my hair is just like kind of cooling, coming back down to room temperature, we're gonna pop some press-ons on, because listen, I cannot, I cannot be bothered to go to the nail salon. You know, it's just, it's too much. I'm gonna take a boar bristle brush and kind of just like separate my curls. I find that boar bristle is a little bit like 
I don't know, it just makes it a little bit more fluffy than a regular brush. This is an extension specific brush from the Casey Welsh method. I honestly, I really don't know. I got it from the salon, but I do really love this board bristle brush. It feels good on my scalp when I can get it actually on my scalp. So we're gonna just kind of fluff them out. So it is now time for my favorite part of the self-care Sunday routine, and that is self-tanning. Now, normally, for the last like six months or so, I had been going on Sundays to get a spray tan at Suntan City just because I was feeling lazy. But it is obviously Easter Sunday, so nothing's open. And I'm just gonna go back to the Loving Tan Two Hour Express Deluxe Bronzing Mousse. So here's the thing with this one. In my opinion, I would rather have something that looks a little bit more reddish in the beginning than too green because I feel like the way that it fades doesn't look natural. So the Two Hour Express, this is in the dark color. I find that this just works better for me. And I, when I got out of the shower this morning, I lathered myself in that EOS body lotion. And I know that a lot of spray tan companies or self tan companies say that you should be completely like naked skin, like nothing on your skin, no deodorant, no lotions, nothing like that. But I find that doing that and moisturizing well before, like that was earlier this morning, it's been a few hours, it actually makes the tan go on better. And I'm gonna put some additional like on my knees and my elbows just so it doesn't cling to it. I just feel like it goes on so much better and it fades way more like gradually instead of getting splotchy and speckly, you know? I like to think I'm an expert on this. I did work at Boca Tanning Club as my very uh, first adult job, so. I have a little bit of a tanning knowledge under my belt. But anyways, we're gonna put this on and we're gonna let it sit for just like two or three hours because I really, really do not like the smell of a self tanner. I do not like keeping it on all day. It's disgusting, it stinks. So. wasn't filming a video I would not be doing my makeup however I am gonna film a little bit of nutrition content today I wasn't filming the video I would just stay in like my little self tan clothes my tube top my comfy shorts and do a couple things around the house I have to meal prep a little bit I'm gonna prep that salad that I made the pasta salad and just do like a little bit of you know cleaning chores that kind of thing but I do want to look presentable for this video so I'm gonna do just a very basic glam look this is what we're starting with I'm gonna go ahead and do all of this off camera because I feel like you don't need to see my entire makeup routine if you do though follow me on TikTok or Instagram because I do post those kinds of like get ready with me style videos there. So this is the before. Here is the after. Okay, the tan is starting to develop. As you can see, it also stinks. I don't care what anybody says. The self tan smell smells so bad. It's like, and it makes me smell bad. Like, ugh, I can't. Disgusting, I can't stand it, but it does look nice. So we're gonna keep it. We're gonna rock with it. This is where we're at right now. It's looking good today. We did a good job on the makeup. And now I'm gonna go eat a little something because I'm starving. Okay, it is time to do a very small meal prep. Like to be honest, I'm really not even calling this meal prep because for one of the things <laughs> I'm making, I'm just taking this out of the freezer. I just started getting these Just Meats. I've been trying them and so far, I have to say I'm pretty impressed. Usually I don't like the pre-cooked things from meal prep companies. Like they're okay in a pinch, but like nothing that I would, you know, use on a consistent basis. I just keep this in my freezer for when I'm feeling lazy like today or just if I really, really have nothing else to make and I didn't go to the store or whatever, just take it out. You can defrost it. I'm gonna defrost it in the fridge overnight because that way I can just heat it up tomorrow. But this will be one of the things that I meal prep and then I'm going to also do right now some protein pasta, like pasta salad, a little feta, um, garbanzo bean cucumber kind of thing and that's just gonna go in the fridge for like my second option because I always like to start the week making sure that my fridge is stocked and ready to go so that way tomorrow I can just already have my lunch and dinner planned out and I coach tomorrow evening so I'm not gonna be able to cook a full dinner so this is going in the fridge Okay, 
these on Amazon, by the way. I originally found mine at Dry Goods, and then I just did a little googly, and I found that they were on Amazon for $10. So I was like, oh, of course they are. So I am going to take off all this makeup. Ooh, it just got so dark out there. Coco Kind Oat to Milk Cleanser. We're gonna, ooh, I need to, forgot I'm filming this on the TikTok too. Hold on, rubbing off all of this. I'm gonna shower and uh, rinse, just literally rinse this tan off and then wash my face only. Um, I'm not gonna scrub anything because I just obviously want it to fade naturally. So just going in to wash the face and get the tan off. It's, it's like, oh, look at my back though. I didn't get all my back. That's lovely. No one looks at you from the back, it's fine. So that is the end of my self-care Sunday. I know it's not like super exciting, but that's just what I'm doing today. And I wanted to make myself feel better and also not let the trolls like get me away from posting videos because I feel like that really ruined my day yesterday and I didn't want it to ruin my day today. So I did everything to make myself feel better and now I feel like I'm set up for the week. So I hope you guys have an amazing Monday today. As always, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe. Please don't comment mean things on my channel. <laughs> And I'll see you in next week's video.